here's how to stun your listeners with the famous phaser effect. This time I'm going to set up an audio effect rack and create two parallel chains. I'll name this one dry and this one wet. And I'll turn each chain down by minus 6 dB to keep the output level the same. On the wet chain, I'm going to load a Pro 4 EQ. So let's create a bunch of points. And I'll set all of these to all pass mode. Now let's highlight all of the points and drag to change their frequencies. <laughs> These all-pass filters are shifting the phase of certain frequencies, creating a series of notches, points where the frequencies cancel out against the dry signal. Your door will have a stock phaser device, but here I'm going to use Liquid Shaper in phaser mode. The main LFO is modulating the center frequency of the peaks and notches. <laughs> The more stages your phaser has, meaning more all-pass filters in the chain, the deeper and more complex that movement becomes. Increasing feedback intensifies the peaks and notches. For a psychedelic feel on guitars or synth leads, a phaser is your friend. Or try a phaser on electric piano or clavinet for that funk and soul feel or give drums and samples a trippy electronic flavour.